And now it's time for Insights. Religions of the world. I wasn't asking you to prove me right. Chances are you haven't seen my videos, but nobody in the atheist community was asking you to prove us right about how ridiculous you can be. From militias in Detroit trying to kill police officers to cause some kind of overthrow of the government on the Christian side, to people trying to bomb subways in Moscow, to the Westboro Church protesting a, a, a gay veteran's funeral and then getting paid for the uh, court costs? Come on, people. These are some of the most ridiculous things I've heard. It's, it's fear. And, and I know that uh, in Detroit, there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of poverty and people have been leaving Detroit and there's a terrible situation there. And I've heard other people argue that it's not the poorest necessarily who do terrorism in all cases, but I'm sure it's a factor. It's a stressor. It causes stress for people. And I'm sure the terrorists who are in the Middle East are all under some kinds of stress as well. But the organized religious aspect of it, the flags with crosses, the jihad symbols, these are definitely religious. The Westboro Church is militant, anti-gay, and it's horrifying. Now, for those moderate Christians and Muslims and, and any other religious organization out there, I want you to know, these are the people who are in the news right now. These are the people who represent your organization. You say, oh, they, they're poor examples. They're bad examples. They can't represent us. But they do. And you can't have one way without the other. You can't say, these guys don't represent us and rely solely on riding the coattails of Jesus. If these guys don't represent you, Jesus doesn't represent you very well either. You can't say that no minority of your group represents your entire group when they do amazing things, whether they're good or bad. They do. If a small group of people does amazing things, that is your group. That's the representative of your group. If, if a small group of people does terrible things or great things, Jesus, according to the legend, did great things. And that's the coattails that have been ridden for years, for millennia. So just think about that. Uh, we are dealing with horrifying war situations when it comes down to it, dangerous ones. And I've heard people say things along the lines of Christian extremists are not as dangerous as, as Islamic extremists. And that may be true to a certain extent. I think it has to do with numbers. If Christian extremists got into large numbers together, larger than what we have currently, if they were to consolidate their strength more, I think we would be in a very dangerous situation. I think it's very possible. This is just something to take in consideration, something to think about. I've, I've seen these organizations before. I know what they're like. I understand the workings. But that's, that's a topic for another video. But religions around the world, we never asked you. We never asked you to, to try so hard to prove us right about how dangerous you are. Thanks.